We're all looking forward to a successful summer of fishing now that recreational red snapper season has arrived. Since their evident brilliant red hue is a dead giveaway, the majority of us take for granted how simple it is to identify the most common fish in the Gulf. Contrary to popular belief, the Gulf is home to at least four additional species of snapper that could be confused for red snapper. Vermilion and queen snapper, two of the other red-colored snapper species, are rather simple for the ordinary angler to identify, whereas blackfin and silk are sometimes confused with red snapper. Want to know how to tell their differences? Let's dive in. Vermilion Snapper Vermilion Snapper have red eyes similar to red snappers, although they are typically smaller and lack a red snapper's strongly pointed bottom fin closest to the tail. The Vermilion Snapper, often known as Mingo or Beeliner, are slimmer and sleeker in shape than red snapper. While they may not produce fillets as large as its red snapper cousin, Vermilion makes for wonderful table fare. They are a smaller species, growing to around 24 inches and 6 pounds, with most being taken in the 2 to 3 pound range. They are most frequently obtained offshore over wrecks and reefs. Queen Snapper Red Snapper and Queen Snapper can be distinguished from one another very easily. They are frequently found far deeper, and unlike Red Snapper, they have a gorgeous, highly forked tail. They differ from red snappers in that they have longer, more slender bodies and relatively large eyes. The bizarre appearance of queen snapper is possibly related to their place of residence. These guys rarely surface over 300 feet, and they have previously been discovered a quarter of a mile below the surface. They are consequently one of Florida's deepest living snapper species. Silk Snapper Red Snapper and Silk Snapper can have extremely similar appearances. This is especially true if its distinctive yellow coloring isn't immediately apparent. Because of their golden eyes and black tail trim, Silk Snapper can be distinguished from Red Snapper. Overall, their size and shape are very similar to Red Snappers, so be on the lookout for any slightest variations. In South Florida and the Keys, silk snappers are most prevalent. They inhabit reefs and other structures in water that is normally 400 to 600 feet deep. The majority of captures of silk snapper are in the 20 inches, 5 pound range. Silk snapper do not grow very large. Although they offer incredible meal quality, their depth prevents recreational anglers from often pursuing them. Electronic reels and other specialized equipment are needed. Blackfin Snapper Red and Blackfin Snapper can share the same habitats and structures and can have very similar appearances. The most noticeable distinction is a black marking in the shape of a half moon at the base of the pectoral fin. Compared to Red Snapper, the Blackfin's eye is frequently more orange or copper colored and the bottom fin closest to the tail is rounded rather than pointed. The deeper south you go, the more frequently you can catch them in the Gulf or the Atlantic. They inhabit rocky or sandy bottom regions in 200 to 300 feet of water, frequently close to ledges and drop-offs. In keeping with the theme, stores and restaurants frequently sell blackfin as red snapper, which is excellent table fare. It could be possible to avoid cheating yourself out of an extra fish by accidentally counting it against your red snapper bag limit by learning how to recognize the other red snapper species. Queen, Blackfin, and other snapper are typically controlled under a 10 snapper aggregate bag restriction. Whereas red snapper is typically restricted to a two fish per person bag limit, but be sure to check with your local wildlife and fisheries for size and quantity limits. 
All of snapper species are delectable and worth catching. When you go on your next fishing excursion, you have a lot of choices besides the red snapper, which can be the most sought after species. Be sure to do some study before setting out with a specific target in mind. And don't forget to check the most recent restrictions and limits. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, like, share, and subscribe.